Hey guys, um, if this is any of my normal followers that are not color guard related, this is uh, finishing up what we were talking about from Spintronics earlier. Hello, hello, I see already a friends that are coming here from the Spintronics one. Fantastic, I'm so glad you guys are here. Um, I was just saying for any of my IRL friends, this is going to be color guard related because 90% of my IRL friends are not color guard folks. So, um, oh, it's perfect. Jackie's going to be in here in just a second so we can finish up. <laughs> hey, hey, there she is. What just happened? They said we can't hear you. Can you not hear me or Jackie? That's really strange. I Can definitely you? heard another person who was not you talking. That was weird. So Andrew has NHL in the background and they're playing like one of the songs, but I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, weird. Okay. I just see that we're good. Because we said we're good. So, okay, cool. Um, I was just saying disclaimer for any of my IRL friends, this is going to be color guard related because none of my IRL friends are color guard people. So, <laughs> Okay, so where we're at um, is, uh, so some of, what are some of the problems? So we've kind of talked about some of the problems we've had in the past with color guard, being able to learn and being able to uh, learn online so that you guys can like learn at home better. And some of the issues that Sam and I had growing up and now how those have kind of been fixed. So the next thing is, what are some problems with all of this color guard social media stuff that have yet to be overcome. And I know a lot of like what you guys um, are going to tell me about is like the bullying issue, you know, and that's something we're working through, obviously, like people bullying each other about it. But I think keeping in mind that like, it's not just the color guard world that has horrible, terrible bully people in it. Like it's everywhere. Like they're everywhere. And you really have to come after, come after them from a place of compassion and realize that they're probably going through something in their life that's just miserable to make them feel miserable so much that they would feel like they need to lash out and attack another person. So anyway, so that's just kind of a recap of what we've been talking about. Um, so what are some problems that have yet to be overcome by color guard being in the social media that we need to overcome? So I'm going to say, I still don't know if my question box is open. Um, so if it's not, you have to put those questions in the comment because I'm still not smart enough. Like, I swear to God, I know how things work, um, but not actually. <laughs> um, so I'm leaving this open to anybody that's watching. Um, let us know because I don't, like, I post on the Spintronic Scar TikTok, but unless Jackie just, okay, perfect. Question box is not open. Drop it in the comments, please. Um, but unless Jackie just, like, has me take over, like if she needs to do something and she has me take over social media, I don't get that involved. Like for my own personal reasons, I always do things for Spintronics and then I don't do comments or anything um, just because social media is not healthy for my mental health um, in large amounts. And so what, what are you guys experiencing? Tell me, tell me your questions and like, we'll see if we can help you because I don't have anything personal to share here. Well, and I think that's like a, another thing with people is that like, there are some really awesome color guard people on, let's say I'm just going to use TikTok for an example again, because I, I love TikTok. I spend a lot of time on it there. I can sit there and respond to so many comments on TikTok. I will sit there and have a conversation with you, but like, that's not everybody's jam. You know, and I totally get that. Like, I, I get that is not everybody's jam. And that's not what people want to be sitting and spending their time doing. And yeah, there's other stuff I want to do too. But I think it's partly because I'm a teacher first and foremost. And like, this weird coronavirus time, I don't have that kind of interaction with my students anymore. And, and I'm yeah. saying that. And so getting out there and like conversing with you guys is helpful to me too. So and that's like, I am also a teacher and I love my students. I'm dying to see my high schoolers again, but I'm also back at work. We're doing daytime camps for a lot of my kids to come in because parents still don't have childcare available. And, um, so I get to see my students. So I get that fill during the day, but Jackie doesn't. Um, 
Jordan said, I'm just scared to post my videos of myself spinning because I'm scared I'm going to get comments about how my body looks or that I shouldn't be doing it because I'm a guy. So, um, I want to say, like, first of all, I hate people that comment on body image. People that comment on body image, they will not be happy. They, they will not be happy if you're fat. They will not be happy if you're skinny. Do you know how many times... I get told, oh, you should eat something. You need to put some meat on your bones. Like, does this look like I need to eat something? Like, let's go. I could take you in a fight. <laughs> but um, people are not going to be happy. So if you need to, turn your comments off. Let them think that in their own head and be miserable in their own head. Delete comments. You don't have to look at them. Um, right. Take care of and yourself. They don't get first. notified. They don't get notified exactly. if you delete their comments. So... That's or if it makes you feel fun. better, just delete their comment, block them. If they can make one mean comment, you don't need to see them ever again. Just block them. Like, but the good people are out there and the good people will always lift you up. Even if you don't get a million views, like it's, it's going to be okay. I promise. Like quality Jordan, over I, quantity. Yes. Jordan, I encourage you just put it out there. Like you're a really, really nice person and you're really nice to people. And I'm sure you do good color guard. Okay. So just put it out there and see what happens. Like, people are going to be good. I promise. And I've seen some people. Okay, so, like, for me, like, I had body image issues for a while. Um, and I was posting online. And I, it wasn't necessarily a body image issue of, like, me looking at myself and being like, oh, my gosh, I'm fat. Like, that's, holy cow, I look so big. For me, it was a body image issue of, oh, my gosh, I can't get through more than creating more than one choreography video in a day. And I used to be able to get through like 10 choreography videos in a day. And so like, I took that as my own personal um, I, I critique of myself. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna get fit and I'm gonna decide. But notice, none of that came from anybody else's comments, anybody else's opinion. It was literally from my own head, from my own self, from how I felt inside, not even how I saw myself, but how I felt inside. So like, I took that into my own hands. I started doing a regular workout schedule, started eating better and that sort of stuff. And like actually took care of myself. And, but there are some people who just, even if they do that, they're taking, they're taking care of themselves. They're, they're still big. They're still going to be fat. That's just genetically how they are. They're still going to be skinny. That's just genetically how they are. But I tell you, I know some big people out there who can, way, way out toss me on rifle. <laughs> and I know some real skinny people out there who have way better endurance than I do. So it's not like everybody's different. Everybody's different. It's not about what other people think. You just, you, you have to personally take that and get it out of your head. I, I know I keep going over this and over this, but you have to get it out of your head. Everybody's different. Don't care about what anybody else thinks about you. Care about what you think about you. So I got a couple of other comments and one of them, I think we should do a whole section over in the future, but just like being a queer, being a trans person in color guard. Um, I want to elaborate first on Jordan's comment about being a guy in guard. And I want to tell you about the last two boys I've had in my color guard at Rock Ridge. Um, one of them I actually saw when I was driving by the grocery store he works at earlier and I waved hi. His name is Will and I love him to death. And he got sick and tired of playing sousaphone. And he was like, well, you'll let anybody do color guard. And I was like, as long as you work hard, I'll let you do it. So he signed up and he did color guard and he got really good. And he um, is like signed up, like he's enlisted in the army. And as soon as his 18th birthday hits, like he's gone to basic. Um, and he wore the exact same uniform this last fall season as all of the girls did. And I mean, it was it was this absolutely hideous unitard. Um, but it was like, see, it was, it was just a unitard, but like he wore the same comment and he got, um, some of the comment, like he got some weird comments from his guy friends, like talking about like, Oh, like you're gay. Cause being gay is a bad thing, I guess, whatever. Um, or like talking about just like him wearing the same costume as the girls or our male band director was very concerned. He wouldn't be comfortable wearing the same costume as the girls but he wore the same costume as the girls and he wore the same makeup. He went out and he had his sister help him buy all the makeup and he wore the eyeshadow and the glitter down his face and the big old wings and he wore it all. And whenever people would make comments, he'd say, well, I'm just doing what's expected of me. Why would I be the only one not in makeup when everybody else is? 
Why would I have to look different? Like, why right. should I make the aesthetic of the guard, who is the visual component of the band, why should I make that look different? Because people are going to say things. Um, and he was very much like, well, why are you making comments? I'm out here spinning. I'm out here throwing flags in the wind. And I'm running around and I'm pushing props around. And I'm he lifted somebody. No, he didn't end up putting Olivia on his shoulders. Um, I think Lee did. But um, he ended up like helping lift Olivia into the air. And he's like, I'm doing these things. You're standing there playing an instrument. Why are you making these comments? And that's just like, turn it around on them. Be like, why are you being like this? This is not a reflection of me. This is a reflection of you. Right. Um, that, and, and honestly, I, well, yeah. CJ made a comment that like fits in perfectly with that. And CJ said that he had uh, a lot of getting a lot of hate about being a trans guy in color guard and you had to block somebody. That's the best reaction. If that person's just going to hate on you and they're just going to tell you all of this stuff, that that is not helpful to you or lifting you up get them out of your life just block them don't even give them a window of opportunity to bring you down like like you have plenty of people around you who can give you critiques and and help you get to be a better person hate is like just straight up hate telling you it's wrong without your permission first of all and without giving you any sort of solution is just that's no that's just hate Tony Gardam has some comments about doing guard but not being in guard and then um like people threatening to out them. Um like Jackie, I want to do a future like live stream just about like our queer and trans babies yeah, and guard. I definitely like, we need to, like, we nine out of ten people this. in guard. <laughs> yeah, nine like nine out of ten people in guard are like queer or trans. I'm like, that's good. That's okay. This is a safe place for us <laughs> to be. Um and Okay, Tony, 9 out like, of 10 people at Spintronics, maybe. I don't know about 9 out of 10 people in all color guards everywhere. But it is, I will say, it is a really high percentage. <laughs> I mean, like, there was 10 people in color guard last year. So, uh, <laughs> guess the street person. Drop it in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't put that in the comments. <laughs> oh, I think gosh. it's funny. Um, but, Tony, um, just, like, if somebody is threatening to do something that is not safe for you... Um, like being outed to maybe parents that are unsupportive, get them out of your life and then um, deny, deny, deny. If it's not safe for you, like lie about it. Like I don't normally condone lying, but if it's not safe, lie about it to keep yourself safe, okay? Yeah. Um, yep. That's something very important. Well, like shoot me a DM if you want to and we can chat about this some more. Um, maybe yeah, not tonight let's... because we want to go to bed. But um, <laughs> But yeah, we can we can talk about this and then um we'll we'll talk more about like trans and queer issues in guard okay, later. Wow. And we mm. have a lot of comments about building confidence. Honestly, if you okay, you want a, a, an easy way to build confidence. Now, you have to be careful because this is also an easy way to get yourself brought down. Um, but do I also I don't have a timer on this side by the way. Oh, um <laughs> so just keep keep an eye on the time. Okay, we're, we're fine. We're okay, good. Okay. We're so um, good. <laughs> okay, good. So an easy way to build your confidence up, post yourself online. Now, like I said, this is also, you have to be careful because it's an easy way to get yourself brought down too. So when once you start posting stuff though, there are going to be people who like it. They might not even say anything. They might not even hit that like button. They'll just watch it and then they'll move on. And then you'll see what gets the most views and what gets the most likes. And I said this earlier, like, and the, and you'll say, okay, that got the most views. I'm going to do something like that again. And then when you do it again, more people will watch it. And then you might get some likes, you know, and maybe it's like five views and two likes. I mean, it, it doesn't have to be big, but just putting yourself out there and getting that positive affirmation is going to help. Now, like we said before, if you get negative affirmations, if you get, if you get people who are being, just being negative to you, kick them out. They, they're going to be negative. They don't get to be around you. They don't get to watch your stuff. If they're going to be negative, they don't need to be part of your life. So that's, that's my take on that. <laughs> um, we got a whole bunch of comments. Um, if Addison, if you're still here, Andrew says, text him back, please. Um, Addison, uh, friend, and also tell Rizzo. Yep. 
<laughs> Building okay. confidence is one of those things like it's a mindset over everything. People are going to contribute to that mindset, but all in all, it's a mindset. I don't normally watch my videos. Um, I don't watch our vlogs. I don't, <laughs> this is horrible. I don't watch our vlogs. I don't watch videos of us spinning. I don't watch run throughs unless it's assigned or unless I just really feel like I screwed something up and I don't know where, cause I can't remember what happened in the run. Um, I don't watch videos of myself, but like, that's like a me thing, but sometimes it helps to do that. And then you realize, oh, I actually did really good. So like, don't do what I do. Go back and watch yourself. See what you're doing, because I promise you're doing better than you think you are. Like, you're seeing 10 times more mistakes than anybody else is. If nobody else knows what it's supposed to be, it's perfect to them. <laughs> exactly. Yep. And that's honestly... A lot of the a lot of the people when I first started teaching color guard online, a lot of my audience was people who hadn't done color guard in like 20 years or something crazy. And they were like, I don't know how to do this. And my band director just asked me to be a color guard instructor. Will you please tell me what to do? And so I, I basically whatever I said for them, their mindset was whatever I said goes. Now I'm a responsible person. So I actually like tried to make sure I did things the right way. <laughs> you know, I didn't just say, oh, I'm the queen of color guard now. Jackie's frozen. Um, Jackie's frozen. Is she coming back? I'm back. Yeah, someone tried to call me, but because I'm using my phone as a hotspot because I don't have internet. Those of you who missed the beginning of the live stream, my internet got hit by lightning, so I don't actually have internet. We're on my phone using data for this live stream. So give us a like and follow just so it can be worth my data. <laughs> um. Okay. So, can't watch videos of myself, criticize myself too hard, and sometimes want to cry. Okay, here's the thing. When you watch videos with yourself, you have to be careful about that. You have to, you have to watch yourself not so critically. Don't just look for the stuff that you did poorly. Look for the stuff that you did well also. Um, if you guys saw on TikTok yesterday, I posted a video of myself dancing. I have, I, I was really super excited when I posted it, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is the best video of me dancing ever. And then I posted it. And then I watched it and then I watched it again. Then I watched it again. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is a terrible video of me dancing. I was literally just warming up. I was literally just moving my body to get my blood flowing to it so that I could actually do what I came there to do. Um, so my technique is terrible, but I like actually talked myself into thinking it was a bad video. And then I got a bunch of comments on it of people who loved it. And they were like, oh my gosh, this was such good, good dancing. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, pickle. <laughs> But anyway, I got a lot of comments on it and I got a lot of likes. So I was like, oh, oh, maybe it's not so bad. So putting yourself out there is going to help you so much in that regard. Oh, okay. Hold on. We have so many more comments. Every, I know. Everybody's like showed up. Um, reinventing um, the Bell says we helped them learn so much and I'm so glad. I'm so happy. Um, so, okay. One of the, sorry, I'm like, one of the things is like, what do we do when the band says we're not really part of the band because we're guard and that's not right? Um, it depends on your band. It really depends on your band. I worked at, so when I say I worked at, like I consider any place that I like went in and choreographed for and any place I went in and teched for. And there's been a lot of places I've like worked by that definition. Um, so there and like some of these places I've spent more time with than others. Some of them I'll only go in for like a day and other times I'll spend like weeks with their guard. Um, one of these places, like multiple places I went in and they're like, Oh, well the guard isn't part of the band. And like the, like everybody, even the band directors are hard on the guard and like that sucks. But the other part of it is like where I work at now, everybody in the band appreciates the guard so much. The band directors I think they don't appreciate it as much as they could just because they don't know guard the way that we do. Um, but like they're, they appreciate the guard. If they're doing a good job, they'll let them know. Um, and so it, it's really just the culture of everything. And that starts with the adults. And sometimes you can't change the adult's mind. 
Sometimes you can, um, but sometimes you can't. And if you can't, high school's only four years, you guys. You can get out and go to a place you're appreciated, and I promise. Um, and that's, like, worst-case scenario. But best-case scenario, like, you do good. You make those auxiliary scores at competitions go up. People notice you. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is somebody, a uh, Nerd Yoda guy, was saying stuff about, like, the color guard and everybody gets called mean names. Um, and some of those mean names that you listed off but didn't actually say, I was called when I was in color guard when I was in high school. Um, I actually, there was a guard that I was on where people literally thought that I was cheating on my boyfriend because of, like, because of the, the people who I talked to or because I acted flirty or whatever, and they, they thought that I was, like, sleeping with this guy and doing all this other stuff. Um, there were rumors that went around that I was pregnant. Um, and, and, like, all of these these things like like people are gonna say the worst crap about you they like we've, we've been talking about this this whole time people are awful not just color guard people people in general there are awful people um surround yourself with positive people who are gonna always lift you up and the other thing is is keep doing your thing and do it well because like for me like the rumors of me like sleeping around and the rumors of me getting pregnant and all this stuff None of it was even close to true. And I just kept being myself and doing my thing. And eventually they saw, oh, she's not pregnant. Oh, all these guys, it's coming out now that they lied about whatever. And, and you know, it brought me down a lot because I was like, good little Catholic girl and all this sort of stuff, you know? And I was like, I don't want that kind of reputation. But it, sometimes people just talk and you just have to... Like, even, even, like, if they're, like, okay, wait, they're getting mad at you. Um, yeah, no, you just have to, you just have to keep doing your thing, doing it well, and being a good person. There's a lot of, okay, this is kind of a sidetrack, but it's a topic I was thinking about today that I really think is important. There's a lot of garden instructors who I talk to who say, okay, spin your stuff, catch your stuff. They don't use the word stuff, but that's the word I'm going to use. Spin your stuff, catch your stuff that's it. That's all that matters in life. And, and my thought is like, yeah, spin your stuff and catch your stuff. But if you're not a good person, if you're not like backing that up with a, a good person behind it, that's, not, it's worthless. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't care how well you can catch your rifle. If you're going to treat other people on the team like crap like, and start yeah. drama all the time, I am going to kick you off the team. So that's like, do your thing, do it well, be nice to people. That's, that's my rant. <laughs> so for my friends that are talking about band directors, um, and then Spin Beauty, you said something I want to elaborate on in just a second. But, um, so when I was in high school, I never spun fall guard. Um, I only, I played clarinet and then I was drum major. Um, and we had a band director switch after my freshman year. And my freshman year band director that I'd had from sixth grade to freshman year loved me. I loved him. He was very hard. But if you worked hard for him, he would reward you. Um, and Jackie knows who it is. And I, I still think very highly of him because he's part of the reason, like, I am who I am today in the color garden music world. Um, but then we got a new band director. And her and I did not see eye to eye on a lot of things. And because of her, I actually quit band and I, um, I quit band and I tried to go back and it was a mess. Um, but if you need to take a step back and leave because of your own mental health, then do it. Like my sophomore year of high school was, was a really, really rough time. Like my freshman and sophomore years of high school were really, really rough times in my life. For me, there was a lot of stuff going on. And having that negative energy and a band director that didn't appreciate me um, was really difficult. And so I left band for other hobbies that made me happy. And I've only ever spun independent guard. Um, I've never spun scholastic guard. Um, but I left because that wasn't something that I could make myself do um, if I wanted to keep like being the person who I am. And so if you need to leave, then do it. And if you're worried about not being able to do winter guard, um, 
in most schools, um, this is just a little tidbit, a little, a little loophole for you all. If you can't do fall guard because you just can't get along with the staff, but you want to do winter guard, scholastic guard instructors get first dibs on you before inter independent guard do. But if you um, are not eligible to audition for that winter guard, then they don't have any say on what you do. If you don't make that guard, then you can go spin for an independent guard. And if you're not eligible to spin for that guard, you can go spin for an independent guard. So if you can't do fall guard because the staff or the people are too much for you, go spin an independent winter guard instead if you have the means to do so. Like that's something that um, I think is something we don't think about. But if you need to leave, do it. It's okay. Um, and then <coughs> that was sorry, last thing. Oh, that's okay. Oh, go ahead. This is changing a topic. Oh, I was just going to reiterate that, like, that's something in, in drum corps, when I marched drum corps, like, people were super hardcore about saying, like, you have to be here this many seasons, and if I have this many more seasons than you, I have seniority over you or whatever. But, like, it's okay to take a season off, and that's something I think people don't value enough. Like, one season off is not the end of your life. Now, granted... It's different if it's like your age out season or something, but like one season isn't going to kill you missing out on one season. If you have like eight seasons to do something. Well, like I even missed the season of Spintronics. I was in my freshman year and then my sophomore year when I had a new band director, that was too overwhelming for me. And I couldn't handle a season of Spintronics. Um, so I didn't do Spintronics that season. And then I came back my junior year and everything was okay. So don't do it. Spin Beauty earlier said, um, also Jackie marched Blue Stars and then Memphis Sound when it still existed. Um, Spin Beauty said something about a lot of band directors like the guard more because they have to take guard classes. I know at Mizzou that is not true, um, but I will say one of my band director friends, um, Jackie froze, but that's okay. Um, his name is Sam Moeller. I love Sam to death. He was going to be a band director and it was going to be his age out season for independent a. And so he auditioned and made it onto, um, onto Ionic, our inaugural season. And he was like, I'm only spinning because I want to know what guard is like. So I know how to teach my guard kids when I have guard kids of my own. And I think it's just getting to the point where like, we recognize that that is an integral part of the band now. And band directors, even if they're not required to know things about guard, he had a marching band class and their textbook was literally out of like the like 1990. It was like, you can put a sign up sheet in the band room for a uh, color guard and maybe the woodwinds will want to do it. Like he showed us his textbook and it was hilarious. But like he came in and he like he gave me hope for band directors. And then one of Andrew's frat brothers, Andrew, my fiance, one of his frat brothers from Find You Alpha is um a band director in a very small town and him and andrew were talking and he actually took a zumba class from jackie at um missouri band directors uh association meeting yeah. last year and he said he's been watching all of our videos and so he's been texting me about things um david roth and he is fantastic and so i've been sending him things but there are people that understand what color guard is and how it's important and they're coming onto the scene so like even if it sucks for you right now it's going to be really good for people in the next five or ten years because the new crop of band directors we have coming up are so good and i'm so excited for them they're going to be awesome should be a good time okay all right we need to get wrapping up with some some of our yes. closing stuff here uh so we do have two giveaways coming up um one of them is going to be uh, a Spintronics hoodie, and it's super cute. I'll show you. I have it right here. I just so happen to have it. So it says, I don't know what it says, Spintronics Color Guard EST 2008, and then on the back, it's Spintronics Color Guard Arta logo. It's the softest hoodie of my life. When we hit 20,000 YouTube subs, that's when we're going to be giving that baby away. Um, and then we have uh, another one coming up that's a surprise that I, I haven't received it yet but it has been sent to me so I don't know should we tell them what it is yet or should we keep that secret just between us and the stretch and chat people I think we should keep it a secret for one more week between us and stretch and chat okay um that sounds we awesome. haven't seen stretch and chat so is it full yet stretch and chat is very full <laughs> 
I Ooh. actually didn't. I didn't take the link down fast enough. We had fourteen people sign up, but I have had a couple people who canceled. So, so we won't be we won't be over full. So, <laughs> um, Alrighty. so one more week, and then next week on our live stream, we'll tell everybody what our second giveaway item is. I'm so excited to tell everybody. This is hopefully by good. then I'll actually have it, so we can show it to you on the video, so you can be like, <laughs> um, so our so speaking of stretch and chat. Stretch and Chat is every Sunday. It is a very, very private little event that we do with our SP enthusiasts. You have to sign up in event uh, in in advance. Bleh, in advance, it is. I think it's at noon, right? Isn't that what we decided? Yeah. It's at noon right. on Sunday. Um, it is closed for this week, but the following week it'll open up on Sunday afternoon for you guys to come sign up to join Stretch and Chat on the next week. So. You guys can do that. Uh, it, it's really nice, actually. I really liked our first one we had. There wasn't, not everybody like realized the time difference. And so we had some people who like forgot or whatever happened. Um, but I really liked it because we get to like actually talk to spin enthusiasts kind of like the same way we are doing now with each other, but it's like everybody. It's like the whole group. Yeah. So that's super nice. And please remember Jackie and I are in Missouri. So we're on central time. We're in central time. Uh, Emery Turner just asked what time zone? Central time. Central yes. daylight time. We are Whatever in time. Missouri. <laughs> Whatever time We're it is in, in Chicago, Missouri. that's what time it is for us. Central daylight time. That's what time it is. Please and check you your time. Hate, if you hate it, go sign the petition to get rid of daylight savings time. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> daylight savings Anyways. time sucks. Get rid of it. Um... <laughs> But yeah, so that's an important thing. Um, if you, Jackie won't care, I'm going to talk about our new publishing schedule for social media. Okay, so we obviously have Facebook, we have Twitter, we have TikTok, we have Instagram, we have um, what else do we have? I'm sure we have we other have things. We have a ton. We have a YouTube. We have a YouTube. Now. We have a YouTube now. That's brand new. Um, we have a Tumblr that I don't know if Jackie Snapchat. touches. We have a Snapchat I don't touch anymore. Um, so if you're on that, I'm sorry. Oh, Snapchat's <laughs> dead. I'm so sorry. Snapchat's, Snapchat's dead. 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 <laughs> um, Snapchat's went all its way out, and I don't care. But anyway, <laughs> so, um, we have at least one major post going up every single day on a different platform. So I'm going to just go ahead and talk about those. Jackie already talked about stretch and chat, which will be on Sundays. Obviously, that is exclusive. Max out at 10 people. Um, it maxes <laughs> out at 10 people. Um, so it will probably fill up within the first 20 minutes, so keep an eye out for that. Um, Monday is going to be a product review video on YouTube. This last Monday, I posted a product review video, one of my favorite lipsticks in the entire world. It's a NYX Liquid Suede in the color Cherry Skies. It's a gorgeous red color. I talk about all the things I love. Um, so that is up on YouTube. I'm going to post a new product review every single Monday. I, um, If you can guess what this Monday's is going to be, it's not going to be makeup. Guess what this next Monday's is going to be? Drop it in the comments for me. Um, but, yeah, that's going to be Monday. And then if you want me to review something specific, drop it in the comments on YouTube. DM me. I have a list of suggestions from you guys already. Um, Tuesday is my yoga live in the morning. It starts at 8 a.m. Currently because Central I – Central time. Central daylight time. Everything Central <laughs> daylight time. Um, I am really bad at – things and stuff as we can tell from the lives that and the stream yard that we tried to set up tonight so for right now our uh our yoga live is on um facebook, facebook. live yep yes it's on facebook live um so that's where that will be and basically i'm just gonna do some um do some yoga and I will actually uh, like drop the link to the exact sequence I used um, uh, in the comments and Jackie will oh, post yeah. that on I'm YouTube. I'm so I sorry. Think. I totally did not do that last week. Remind me to get that link from you again. Or, or I'll go back and get it. I'm sorry. Okay. I failed. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. That's fine. Wednesday is going to be a blog. I'm writing the blogs. Most of them will be about whatever my product review is on Monday. But if I just have something 
I'm super passionate about that week. Maybe I might write There needs to, to be a blog about LGBTQ in our blog posts. Jackie, that's a novel. It's what? That's a whole novel. <laughs> maybe there needs to be a blog series. <laughs> yes. Maybe I'll maybe I'll make a second one of those to post Wednesday night or something. But Wednesday is going to be a blog. Um, I've written a couple about, like, how to prepare for fall season. I have one about the product review coming out. I'm going to – I have one that I'm working on about, like, self-care before, during, and after practice um, that I will post here as soon as I finish it up. Thursday is our live stream. You guys are here, so you know all about our live streams on Thursday. On Instagram, we'll try to do them on Facebook. Hopefully, Jackie will have more internet in the future. And then Friday will be an instructional video from either Jackie or me. I'm going to work on getting you some more gymnastic type instructional videos in the future, so like handstands, um, maybe some headstands, cartwheels. I have one for cartwheels I need to finish editing. Um, but those will be going up on YouTube. And then we don't have anything for Saturday, do we? Is that? No, we, we need a break, Sam. The Lord yeah. said we must rest for a day. We need one day a week to rest. Um, <laughs> I mean, oh. yeah. But yeah, that's um, that's what we I'm have. We have. I'm sorry, this chair this is super year. squeaky. So um, watch. Oh my gosh, Jackie's frozen. Frozen or am I Here frozen? She there you go. You're frozen. Oh, sorry. Um, nerd. Nerd, nerd Yoda guy says you should do a Zoom. Um, that's what our stretch and chat is, that's but on stretch Sunday. And chat. <laughs> that's stretch and chat. That's stretch and chat. So, yeah. Um, oh, the is here. Hello. Summer camp is going to be, it'll be a Zoom meeting, or I'm not sure if it'll be Zoom or if it'll be um, uh, Google Meet or something, but summer camp is going to be like that. So make sure you keep an eye on all of our lovely social medias so that you get to be a part of our summer camp. I know I talked about it earlier. I'm so excited about it. I can't wait to make all the official announcements. They're gonna be just fantastic. So the last couple of things we wanna talk about, and this is obviously if you were in high school, um, do not worry about this, but if you want to sponsor anyone or if you know somebody that's interested in sponsoring us for any reason, um, please let us know. Email Jackie at SpintronicScar.org or, or SpintronicScar at gmail.com or director at SpintronicScar.org. There um, yes, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> and um, if you want to, we have an Amazon wish list. Um, it's linked in like every single YouTube video ever. Um, if oh. you want to buy anything from that, that is for our winter guard. I've gotten donations of like quick kitchen equipment that helps me cook delicious, healthy breakfast for everyone. We've gotten um, tape. We've gotten a whole bunch of things donated before. Um, so if you want to do that to help us out as an organization, that would be and we're out of super tape, awesome. By the way, we are out of tape. Yes, we are all out of tape. And then last but not least, in my product review videos, we have some affiliate links we're listing. Clicking on those links um, obviously doesn't cost you anything, but if you purchase something from one of those links, it gives us a proceed of what you purchased. And that helps us out by making us money because – it costs money to have equipment to do this kind of thing. It costs money um, for me to sit here and do this rather than being at work. Um, and because, like, I could be working on things. I have some work from home stuff to do. So I could be doing that, but instead I'm doing this. So if you do that, it does not put any money in my pocket, but it does pay for things that I need to make this easier. It pays for things that Jackie needs to make this easier. It pays for things for our winter guard. Um so if you guys purchase things through our affiliate links, that would be super awesome. If you want to purchase things from our Amazon wish list, that would be super awesome. Um, and if you know anybody who's interested in sponsoring us for any reason, um, wants to give money for scholarships for summer camp or for the winter guard or like anything, just like let us know because it costs money to run a business and it costs money when you don't get, paid by that business well because jackie well, and i don't get paid to do this so no no that's something a lot of people ask me they're like they're like oh my gosh you must be a millionaire from all the spintronic stuff you run and i'm like actually i put a good third of my full-time job paycheck into teaching color guard just because i want it to happen that badly 
like that's how much I want to make it happen is that I'm willing to not go out and work for somebody else and make money. I'm willing to put in the hard work and not get paid for it. So yeah, just do what you do. Yeah. That's uh, the big thing I wanted to go there. And as we have more information, hello, Cassie, Cassie's here. Um, <laughs> so as we get more information about our camps and clinics and stuff, we'll get them out to you guys. If you guys, um, we're working on sending out more often, um, what do you call those emails that you send out? Oh, the, the, just the newsletter, the newsletter emails. Yes, yeah, newsletter, that's it. If you're interested in, re in receiving a Spintronics newsletter, um, you can, uh, drop your email over on this, like, Spintronics guard at or just spintronicsguard.org you can sign up for our mailing list there it doesn't cost you anything we send out like one email a month it's not that many but it'll just keep you up to date on things so yeah mm -hmm. yep it's just kind of like the else? highlights yeah anything else to add jackie i don't think so i think that's it like sam thanks for being on the live tonight i know yeah. it's like a lot of time out of your week and um, you know, we spent a lot more time preparing for this one than any of the previous ones so far because we're trying to we're trying to make stuff our all of our stuff better, um, better for you guys, better to reach everybody. And so that's been it's been a different sort of experience, but it's been really good. Yeah. yeah so. Well, thank you, Jackie. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys Sunday at Stretch and Chat. Yeah, Sunday Stretch and Chat, and then the rest of you guys will see you guys next Thursday, same time. And I don't even know if I have a guest lined up yet, but um, who do you want to see? Who do you want to see on the Instagram? Uh, what is this Instagram live? Like, send me, send me a DM. Yeah, we've talked about um, maybe having somebody from, like, Marching Health back on. We've talked about um, having Belinda Johnson, our photographer, back on. Um, so if you know anybody you want to see Jackie interview, um, let us know cool times all right well i'm gonna go i have got some video editing to do before i go to bed and then i'm gonna crash and i've got some bean bags to make so <laughs> all right well i will see you later gator bye